Let's look at how to create open vSwitch bridges and how to connect interfaces to those bridges on Linux. So first of all, you need to install open vSwitch and it isn't always immediately obvious how to do it. You need to install something that will get it there. For my version Rocky, I need to install CentOS release NV, NFV open vSwitch and once that is installed, it provides all of the libraries or makes it the libraries and files available. And then I do yum search open v switch. And then I can see all of them, all these different options. The one I'd want right here would be this open v switch 3.3 um, x86 64, which would give me open v switch. All right. So um, that's already installed. And so the next thing I need to do on this machine is to start the open vSwitch service. So I can do systemctl start open vSwitch. Once I start it, I can go ahead and check the status to make sure it's actually up and going. I can see that it is not um, enabled. Um, and that means that if I reboot, it will not be running. So if you want it to be running on boot time, just have to, you have to make sure you set it up to do that. All right. So the first thing I do now that I have open vSwitch up and going is I can check to see what bridges I have in place. So I can do OVS, VSCTL. So open vSwitch, vSwitch control and show. And that shows me, well, I have open vSwitch up and going. I can add bridges using the add BR command. So OVS, VS, CTL, and then add BR for bridge. And then I have to name my bridge something. So I can call this uh, my bridge. There you go. And then if I run that same show command again, you can see I now have a bridge up and going. There are, you know, no interfaces connected to it other than the my bridge interface, which allows me to then connect to it and stuff like that. But I could take any of my interfaces that I have and I can put it into that bridge. So if I look at my interfaces right now, so if I type in ifconfig, I can see that there is this ENP0 s3 interface and i can take that one and i can put it on the bridge so i do uh, ovs vs ctl add port to the bridge name so it's my bridge and then the port i want to add so paste that there and that adds that to that bridge now i can do a show command again and I can see that um, I have the my bridge bridge and on that bridge I have just this my bridge interface and then I also have the interface for my external port if I were to do that with multiple ports I could connect them so that they would then work as a bridge they would basically be in the same subnet and that allows them to be connected um, I can also um, give IP addresses to the interface right there if I wanted to give an IP address directly to this bridge interface. Um, I can also remove them just like uh, the adding command. You can uh, remove it and then if I look at the bridge again you can see that the interface is now gone. I can also remove the interface or remove the bridge itself. So oh VS, VSCTL, and uh, I did a add BR command to add the bridge, and I can do a del BR to delete the my bridge, and that will remove the bridge. So just so you know, a bridge is basically a switch. It's a software-based switch, and that's the idea. You can create these bridges. Um, later, you can look at how you can use these open vSwitch bridges to do things like create tunnels 
Um, you can create an entire layer two tunnel with multiple hosts just by having bridges and correcting, connecting them together. Um, anyway, but this is nice. Um, once things are on here, so let's go ahead and create the bridge again. So I will go ahead and add the bridge, my bridge, and I'll add the port right there to that bridge. I'll do the show command again to see that it's there. And then I can look at information about that bridge. So for example, I can do o OVS. And then if you press tab a couple times, you can see there are different commands. Um, one of these commands is app CTL for app control. And I can do some about F database uh, show show my bridge. And what this does is it allows me to see MAC addresses that are connected to the bridge. And if you look um, at my IF, commi IF config command, you can see that we have, well, this interface right here, which is connected to the bridge, is not one of them. This one is actually a virtual MAC address and so then when you want to connect to it and use things on the bridge you can do that. Um, this will allow me also to um, give an additional IP address to my machine uh, on the network. Uh, it allows me to ping things. Another thing you can do with the open vSwitch bridges is if you are using tunnel tap type interfaces you can connect um, devices um, such as virtual machines to your bridge and you can actually use uh, open vSwitch bridges to connect devices together. In fact that's even the way how um, some of the virtual machine software connects their devices together is using open vSwitch. Anyway, I hope this gets you started with open vSwitch and just seeing some basic things, seeing what you can do and what some of your options are.